Hey guys, welcome back to Robo. Hope you guys are doing well and staying safe. And today, this is another monthly update video. If you're new here, this video series is something that we do every month. And we tell you the latest updates in the embed systems world, the IoT, everything, what is new, what is happening. So new products, advancements in technologies, everything of that sort. So this is like a news thing. And this video, as usual, we have three new updates for you. So stay tuned. The first story that we have for you today is that Arduino has finally released the MKR IoT sensor board as a standalone board. This sensor board was part of their starter kit and now is available as a standalone board because all of the people from the Arduino community were asking Arduino to just release this as a standalone board so that they don't have to buy the entire kit and just can get this sensor board which is really cool. The MKR IoT sensor board has quite a few actuators and sensors like temperature, humidity, it has the RGB lights and also a colored OLED display. Prototyping on this sensor board is very hassle free because there is very little soldering required and components and modules can be attached to each other very easily. So yeah finally we have the MKR IoT sensor board as a standalone board and just not as a starter kit pack. The second story for the day is that ArduCam is now supported for Raspberry Pi Pico. Because the Pico took the entire industry by storm, one because of the new chipset, the RP2040 chipset that Raspberry Pi developed themselves and also just at the price point which it release that just at 350 rupees so new raspberry pi pico sbc has finally support for the popular mini 2 megapixel ArduCam camera module so ArduCam has created a custom library for their ArduCam camera for the raspberry pi pico this is available on github you can check it out which is not for the pico ArduCam is set up for arduino uno the mega and all the other major sbcs right now with the initial firmware the camera can just record at four frames per second but with library updates and firmware updates everything like that we can expect the camera to improve and just record at higher frame rates higher resolutions everything like that this is a great step forward we can build many projects with the ArduCam connected to the Raspberry Pi Pico the Pico is a fairly powerful SBC ArduCam support can just open a bunch of project ideas with the Pico the third and final story of the day is that there is something called hydrogen cream which can be the new source of energy for electronic vehicles PowerPace as they call it is a new energy source developed by Fraunhofer Institute in Germany and this can be a new energy source for all the electric vehicles and everything like that. So hydrogen powered vehicles are operational in Germany and the alternative for storing this hydrogen is power base. Powdered magnesium is mixed with hydrogen at 350 degrees Celsius to make it into magnesium hydride. The way this thing is converted into energy is that when this cream is put inside the car, it mixes with the plain water inside the car and there is some chemical reaction and hydrogen is released and then the electric motor works which is powered by hydrogen. This cream has a higher energy density than gasoline or petrol which makes it a great alternative for fossil fuels because they are depleting and eventually will be replaced with higher energy density than gasoline petrol or even batteries this can be a great alternative and can be replaced everywhere and this can run our cars or scooters everything like that the main application of this cream can be that it can be used in cars delivery vehicles and even in drones the flight time of the drones can increase significantly if we use the power pace rather than the batteries that we are using right now so yeah things are looking great we are finally finding alternatives to gasoline and petrol and yeah with this having higher energy density as well the cars can run for a longer time and just use lesser amount and yeah that has been it those were the three new updates of this month hope you enjoyed this video if you did leave this a like and comment down below what other series would you want us to start we're coming up with many tutorials and informational videos as well so subscribe for that if you already haven't and that has been it thank you so much for watching we'll see you next time